Hello again guys, this is Claire here with Guilty Skies Gaming and we're back in the swamp. Probably for the last time. I'm picking up where I left off in the last video I did on this. Just so I can finish up Bubble Gloop Swamp forever. And I'm setting my timer. There we go. Hey, I just passed my best note score. You think? I feel like this episode I'm gonna spend a lot of time in the witch's lair, like the main central. Huh. I think I have to go redo the friggin' uh The alligators. The gilded gators. Oh my goodness. I also just got done with lunch. Oh, I do. God damn it. Croctus. Ow. Yeah, Croctus like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta feed all you greedy bastards. Um... Are there any notes? There are not. <sighs> oh. oh my goodness. Excuse me while I die a little. <sighs> I'm not having a good time. Hey! Open that big beautiful mouth. Alright, now I gotta go over there. Which is right here. I have good spatial awareness with this game. Just realize that. I think these had the last few notes I need as well. Yeah, it's this one up here, I think. Should be all the notes anyway. Yeah. Seven, eight, up oh, eight, nine, done. Oh yeah, hundred notes nets you another life. I'm like, in Mario, where 50 coins nets you another life. Alright. Two more. Honey hives. That's oh, past Croctus. Or vile crocodile. Ow! Uh oh. He was right here. Okay. One more! And then I'm done with Bubble Gloop Swamp. Except for coming back later for the extra thing for Vile the Crocodile. Ugh. So slow! There we go. From a distance. Sniped. Sniped. Okay, sorry. I apologize, everyone. 
Yeah! Go, go fuck yourself. Normally I love dragonflies, just in this game they're creepy and evil. And I think the next level I'm gonna be opening is, um, Freeze Easy Peak. <laughs> Freeze Easy Peak is about as generic Christmas level as you can get. Or generic snow level, I should say. It's got Christmas themes, icicles, an ice cave, a walrus. It's got a frigging walrus. And it's another transformation level. There's another one to go with it. I think you transform into a walrus in that one, too. Wow, your best note score for this world is who gives a shit? Okay. And yes. These boots last much longer, simply because they have to. So you can get into this area without, uh, too much trouble. Yeah, it's like perfectly timed. Yeah, I have 29 pieces? Hell yeah, I'll fill them all in. That's right, the faceplate for the level is a uh, calendar. I think I can break this thing too. Yeah. Okay, there's one more thing I want to do in Bubble Gloop Swamp for this episode. And that is, um, go change into the crocodile. Remember that I could change into the animal and then leave the area proper only for a little bit? Bubble Goop Swamps is gigantic. All things considered. I'm so glad this isn't like Mario 64 and you have to deal with the- every time you turn the camera you hear uh, the camera turn noise. That got irritating. And if it looks like I'm collecting notes, I'm actually not trying. It just happens to be on the path. I noticed there's a lot of xylophone in the soundtracks for uh, Rareware games. Oh, I gotta go through the fucking maze again. Such bullshit. I wish once you got through there was like a shortcut so you didn't have to keep doing this. And I'll have to do this once again if I'm going to uh, completionist this thing. Because I need to come back, change to the crocodile once more once I get the speedy shoes. So I can beat Mr. Vile at his own game again and get the, um, whatever other prize he's got for me. <sighs> What's my timer look like? Okay, I got time. Oh my god, I feel terrible. <laughs> I've been catching the coal. I think I captured, or captured. Gotta catch them all. It's like, what is Colts or po uh, Pokemon now or something? 
No, I caught whatever my fiance has. So, that's been fun. And you guys know that that smell when you know a cold is coming on, like your nose clogs up and all you can smell is like mucus. This is gross, but that's all I smell. Look at that alligator butt. Okay, seeing as I broke the ice in that room, I'm gonna head in there as the alligator because the tunnel's too small for Banjo and Kazooie to fit through. Surprised the alligator can get up this slope. Well, he has four pad. Four paws, four feet. So here's a fun little thing. Say hello to Cheeto, everybody. Cheeto, the spellbook you have found the magic cheats I have for you. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book finders bear and bird are spell they get. We sure do, bag lady. Come on, book boy, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code blue eggs on sandcastle floor. This is where the game gets really meta, but it's so cool. And I think there's two other spell books. There's one for eggs, one for red feathers, and one for gold feathers. Like, the, uh, the spelling thing on the floor of Treasure Trove Cove, it's so meta. Let's go to Treasure Trove Cove really quick. Yeah, I've got a little time. Then we'll get my upgrade, and then we'll be on our way to the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, there's a fly, like, right there. I don't care, Grunty. It's really bad, because uh, I was playing, uh, as I told you in, I think, the last video of this, I was playing uh, Super Mario 64, and I wanted to do banjo stuff. Like, I wanted to turn around while crouched, but instead Mario crawls instead of turning around. Which I feel like he should turn around instead of crawl, because crawling is literally useless in that game. It's so pointless. Alright, let's go... That was disturbing to freeze on. Thanks, game. There we go. All set. He blows up. I have to go kill Reddy in there. Not ready for ready. Actually, I'm totally ready for ready. Like that. 
Okay, so the code was blue eggs with no spaces. B. L. U. E. And with these codes, you can actually reuse the letters. So I can do E. G. G. S. And now I, my max count has doubled. That lousy cheat for extra eggs won't help bear and chicken legs. But yeah, um, that's all the time I have for this episode, guys. I have, uh, next time we're hitting tri or not tri Freeze Easy Peak. Yeah, next time we're hitting Freeze Easy Peak, and hopefully that shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. Until then, hit that like button in case you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to uh, Guilty Skies Gaming for more great content just like this. And as always, this is Claire over at Guilty Skies Gaming, signing off. Bye-bye, guys.